Lacey here with the Sweet Pea Chef, and I cannot believe how close we are to the holiday season. Can you believe we're already halfway through December? It's just ridiculous. That means it's time to start looking into some holiday gifts for our friends and family, maybe some for ourselves too. So today I want to share some of my absolute favorite go-to kitchen items that are healthy eating essentials. So I know that there's a lot of ground to cover for what we can do for a healthy eating kitchen essentials list. So I've broken it into five categories to make it as simple to follow as possible and then also to help you kind of organize your thoughts on what might be helpful for you. So starting off, we're gonna talk about meal prep storage because this is probably the number one question I get. What are my meal prep containers? What do I use to store my food in the fridge? Because meal prep is awesome and we need containers to help us out with that. We'll also be discussing healthy kitchen gadgets, healthy cooking tools, the best cookware for eating healthy, and healthy pantry essentials. And all of these are gonna really help to understand what kind of can make up a healthy eating kitchen so that you can make your life easier and healthier very simply. All right, so like I said, we are gonna start off with meal prep containers and meal storage. I absolutely think that meal prep is the key to eating healthy and it's really helped me on my weight loss journey and my healthy lifestyle journey and it just is so awesome and it's a really good storage saver in your kitchen as well. So I absolutely adore these glass meal prep containers. They come in a set of five and they are super awesome. They're airtight containers. You can microwave them, you can store them in the fridge, you can see through them. They're just super awesome. You can also opt to have plastic storage containers, but I recommend for a healthy eating lifestyle, definitely pick up some airtight containers. And if you can keep them as evenly sized as possible, like I have a bunch of the same size, that way you can keep your meals all portioned out in even amounts and you don't have to go and get some out of one container and out of another container. It just makes life really easy. Some pros to a glass container over a plastic container. While it does cost a little bit more, they will last longer. They're a little healthier for you. You don't have to waste plastic and they can be microwaved and placed in the dishwasher without any issues. For all of these kitchen items that I'm sharing today, I will have links for you in the description below so you can easily get what you're looking for and I'm looking for the best price for you as well. In addition to my glass meal prep containers, I also recommend getting some mason jar containers. Mason jars are awesome. They're also glass, which I really like because they are just so durable and they store very well in the fridge and you can see through them. I just love it. I recommend getting two different sizes of mason jars. And the good news is they come in large packs and they're pretty cheap as well. I get the quart size for anything like a big soup or a salad, something that I'm stacking up high and that doesn't require a small portion. And I use pint size for things like chia puddings, overnight oats, and things like that that don't need as much space. I also recommend these awesome mason jar lids that are reusable because that way you can just wash them and reuse them as often as you like and it just makes life a lot easier to store your mason jars in the fridge. Speaking of airtight containers, I also highly recommend having some airtight containers for your pantry. So you can store things like coconut sugar, almond flour, coconut flour, and all of the essentials so that you can have it easy to grab and they don't go bad while they're in your pantry. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about some healthy eating kitchen gadgets. These are the fun things that you have in your kitchen. They take up a little bit more space. They are a little bit more expensive, but they're so valuable and they're so helpful for so many different things. First off, my spiralizer. I use this baby all of the time. It's not too expensive, it's a great gift. You can turn any vegetable into noodles, you can shave things. It's so helpful in the kitchen and it just really can revolutionize healthy eating for anybody who loves pasta but also wants to eat healthy. Plus, you can also check out my really useful spiralizer guide that I walk you through all sorts of fruits and veggies that you can use with your spiralizer so you can know how to get started. Next, I highly recommend getting yourself a high quality, high speed kitchen blender. I use mine all of the time. I recently got a Vitamix and I absolutely adore it. It is super awesome, very powerful. I can make anything from blending mixes for pancakes or waffles 
to making smoothies, to blending up sauces. It is so awesome and I use it all of the time. If you have someone that you know that really likes smoothies and soups and cashew butter and all that kind of stuff, I highly recommend getting them one of these Vitamix blenders. They're super awesome. Another great gift idea and healthy eating kitchen gadget is a food processor. I use this Cuisinart food processor. I've only owned Cuisinart food processors and I absolutely love them. They are some powerful machines. I use them for hummus, making peanut butter, making my sorbets. They're so versatile. I can use them even to make like energy balls. I use it all the time. Basically, if you need something blended up and grounded up, use a food processor, or you could also use a kitchen blender, but they both do kind of different things. The, the kitchen blender is gonna be more of a liquid type based of a mixture, and then your food processor is gonna be your more substantial mixes. So both of these items are very valuable and very helpful. Next, I definitely wanna recommend a slow cooker. Slow cookers are so helpful. You can just put your food in there, let it go, let it set all day. You can even get pre-programmable ones, which is the one I'm recommending. It is really easy, and if you've watched my recipe videos on how to use slow cookers to have healthy eating meal prep, definitely a valuable example of how this can be part of your healthy lifestyle as well. If you don't want a slow cooker and you want to speed things up, you can also get an Instant Pot, which are also super great. You can do a bunch more things in an Instant Pot than you can in a slow cooker, but you can't let it set all day like you can with a slow cooker. Instant Pots are, like they sound, much more fast working. You basically can just put your things in there, you use the pressure, it seals it on up, and then it cooks in usually less than an hour for anything. And it's very helpful, especially for things that are typically take a little bit longer, like rice or stew, are much easier to do in an Instant Pot. Next up is my outdoor grill. I love grilling all year round. You can check out my fall meal prep grill recipes. You can also check out my grilled pizza that I just recently shared. Grilling is awesome. It's a really good way to have a healthy lifestyle since you don't have to use a lot of batter or anything or oils and you get to get outside, which is really cool. So I'm gonna leave a link for my grill and I definitely recommend, if you can, getting a propane grill so you can get some nice even heating and you don't have to worry about burning any coals. So definitely a grill is an absolute awesome gift idea if you're wanting to spend the money on yourself or on a loved one. My next favorite kitchen gadget is a digital thermometer. Digital thermometers are awesome because they really help you perfect how you cook your meat. You can just stick it on in the meat, let it set, and then once it reaches the temperature that you absolutely know that you want it at so that it doesn't overcook and it isn't undercooked, it beeps and you're ready to go. It is so helpful and I use mine all of the time. Plus, it makes a great stocking stuffer because it doesn't take up a lot of space. All right, so we talked about blending already. We talked about using a kitchen blender or a food processor. I also love my immersion blender, which usually has a little lower of a price tag than your other types of blenders. Using an immersion blender is awesome because you can just blend right in the pot. You don't have to transfer everything out to a blender or something and potentially spill stuff or be blending hot stuff and having it go everywhere. Instead, you just blend it right in the pot and it's really awesome. Plus, you can use it to make things like frothing milk for lattes or you can use it as a whisk to make some whipped cream. It's just a really cool handy kitchen gadget. My final favorite kitchen gadget for a healthy eating lifestyle is a food scale. Being able to weigh your food to know how many ounces of cheese you're adding to something or how many ounces of meat you're adding is really helpful, especially when you're trying to lose or gain weight and you really wanna follow a regimented weight loss or weight gain program so that you're actually putting the exact amount if you need like four ounces of lean meat on your plate, that way you can guarantee that you're getting it. So I highly recommend getting yourself or a loved one a food scale. All right, next we're gonna talk about some healthy kitchen tools that I highly recommend, starting with things like cutlery, mixing bowls and food prep, and also some utensils that are very valuable on a daily basis. 
First up is mixing bowls. I don't know about you, but I could not have enough mixing bowls in my life. I love having different sizes. I want large ones, medium ones, and small ones so that I have different needs for different purposes. Mixing ones, I definitely want a very large bowl if I'm making like a salad, or if I just have a little bit of olive oil, I can use a smaller one. So I definitely like getting all of my ingredients out before it's time to start cooking and being able to have them all in little containers ready to go makes my life so much easier. And also make sure that you are doing no fail recipes because you have everything you need. To that point, I also highly recommend having a good amount of measuring cups and measuring spoons because you can't have enough of these if you're cooking a lot and that way you get the right amounts. You can follow instructions, you can follow the directions and get the perfect amount in there. You don't mess up things like eyeballing baking powder and having things not work out. It just is really gonna help you have a really good understanding of what's going into your food so you can measure it out evenly. They also make great stocking stuffers and don't cost a lot of money. Next up, we are talking about cutlery, and that is a huge part of eating healthy and cooking for yourself is having a good knife or a good set of knives. If you're only getting one knife, you definitely want to focus on getting a good quality chef knife. Also, good options for knives are paring knives and bread knives. They both are very valuable. A paring knife is gonna be used for things like cutting small tomatoes, grape tomatoes, kiwis, anything smaller than a tomato, essentially, anything smaller than your hand. And then your chef knife is gonna be used for anything larger than that and really great for cutting meat and cutting into pineapple and all that kind of stuff. And a bread knife, obviously, is gonna be for bread and it's gonna be very helpful because it has a different type of blade. It's gonna be serrated. So all of those are really good options. They're great gifts and highly recommend getting yourself or asking for or getting for a loved one a good set of knives. Now I'm gonna go through a quick list of some other tools that I think are very valuable and I use all the time in my kitchen. First is a potato masher. They're used for potato mashing, yes, but I also use them to mash bananas for banana bread. I use them for mashing beans to make kind of like a refried bean texture. I use my potato masher all of the time, super useful. Next is a whisk. Definitely get yourself one to three or four whisks. I use my whisk to whisk together dry mixtures, also wet mixtures. Use it all the time. They're really great to just get everything mixed together very evenly. And they're not very expensive at all. I also use a metal whisk for things that I'm mixing in a bowl, and I have a special rubber one or a silicone one that I use for whisking things in the pot so I don't scratch my pots. Next up is a vegetable peeler. You can either do a normal crescent style vegetable peeler or you can use an, a Y-shaped one. It really just depends on how you prefer to hold the vegetable that you're peeling. It's very valuable, very helpful because you can remove the outer layer very quickly and easily and they are very good tools to have in your kitchen. A fine mesh strainer or a set of different sized fine mesh strainers um, are very helpful. They're also called sieves. I use them for straining out spices if I'm making eggnog or a chai latte. I use them for straining out bits of fruit when I'm making my sodas. Anytime you need to remove a lot of particles from something and you can just pour it on through and have it go into something else below, these are awesome. I highly recommend them. They make it so you don't have to use like a cheesecloth or that you also can just get all those particles out of your liquid. Next up is a kitchen scraper. I love this tool because it's so versatile. Not only can it be used to cut dough so that you can separate dough out very evenly instead of having to use a knife, you can also use it to easily scrape your kitchen counters when you are rolling out dough or a flour of some sort because it really picks up all those extra pieces and basically scrapes all of the trash off of your countertop when you're using dough, which as you know, if you've done it before, it gets sticky on there and it gets stuck and it's hard to get off with a sponge. So using a kitchen scraper is a very versatile tool. And of course, graters are super helpful in the kitchen. I have two different kinds. One I use um, as a handheld standing grater that I use for cheese or grating some cauliflower to make cauliflower rice. It's very useful. I also use like it for Parmesan. It's just really helpful to grate a lot of stuff at once. I also love my microplaner, which I use to get things um, like zest off of oranges or limes, and it's very helpful for that. 
I also use it to get shaved nutmeg. Uh, it's just really awesome and very helpful and I use both of them all of the time. Next up is utensils. I use a set of silicone covered utensils that I really like. I like having them be silicone coated because they don't scratch your cookware when you're cooking with them. And they're also very easy to clean. Most often they're dishwasher safe, so they're really cool. I use spatulas for things like cooking pancakes. I use tongs for flipping things like spinach or meats. And I use my spoons for stirring things in my pots. I use these all the time. I have multiples of them. They make great stocking stuffers and they're super awesome. Next up, we're gonna be talking about healthy eating cookware. This is stuff like pots and pans, casserole dishes, things that you're gonna be cooking your food in. And it makes a very big difference to have a better quality one versus a lesser quality because things might stick, it might not cook evenly. So having yourself a good set is really absolutely helpful for having a healthy lifestyle. First up, a large skillet is a great essential. You can choose either to have a stainless steel skillet or you can choose nonstick. It's up to you. Nonstick does make it easier because things don't stick to it, but a stainless steel skillet is also very valuable and I have one as well and I love using it. I also recommend having a smaller skillet, also called an omelet pan because it's smaller. These are really helpful if you are cooking a smaller portion of things. You don't need all of that space in your skillet, like some scrambled eggs would be a good thing to use on this, or if you're just cooking a small portion of something. I use both of these depending on how much of a volume of food that I'm making. Cast iron skillets are awesome. I have one. I use it because it has really good rounded heating. It doesn't have any issues with heating on any of the sides and it all heats up so nicely. You can get them covered like a Le Creuset type and have enamel around it or you can have just plain old, old style lodge kind of skillets that are cast iron. They're super awesome. They stay hot forever too so you can serve things in them really valuable items um, and I love my cast iron and I don't feel like I use it enough on this channel. I should definitely use it more. Um, they're just awesome. Next, a saucepan is super helpful. I use mine for so many different things. I use it for making like small sauces. I use it for making oatmeal. I use it for heating up soup. I use it so often and they have covers. They're great for making things like quinoa and rice and all of that. Super awesome, very valuable tool. And also I recommend getting one that has a lid. Definitely valuable. For things that are needing a little bit more space than a saucepan, a stock pot is really awesome as well. I use mine for larger items like cooking noodles or making large soups or anything that just needs a lot more space than a smaller saucepan. Casserole dishes are super awesome, also called baking dishes. I have a nine by 13 one, I have a square one. They're really helpful for making things anywhere from like cornbread to enchiladas to lasagnas to nachos. They're so helpful and they're nice because they have a higher rim so you can have things pile up in there and you can have liquid come out and it doesn't overflow. So definitely recommend getting yourself some casserole dishes. Along those same lines, I recommend having some baking sheets. I like both having a rimmed baking sheet and flat cookie sheets for different reasons. Cookie sheets obviously are helpful for making cookies because you can slide the parchment paper on and off without damaging the cookies. I also like using rimmed baking sheets for foods that might either drip off or roll off. So anything like that, I use a rimmed baking sheet for and I use my cookie sheet for anything that doesn't worry about sliding off. I love my loaf pans. I have a ton of them. I use them for things obviously like baking bread, but I also use them for making frozen bars or cheesecakes in the freezer. I also use them for storing my sorbets when I have them and I want to have something cold and just put them in there. They're really great and I use them all of the time. Muffin tins are essential for eating healthy, not only so that you can make healthy eating muffins for grab and go breakfast, but also so you can make easy cheesecakes, little mini cheesecakes and egg muffins and all sorts of really easy grab and go snacks or treats. They're awesome and they're very cheap as well. So you don't have to worry about spending a bunch of money on them. And they're so helpful to just have one or two sitting around. All right, so now we've gone through all of the kitchen tools, the gadgets, the cookwares, the bakewares, all of that kind of stuff. So next we're gonna talk about pantry staples. I'm not gonna go through my entire pantry, 
Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do that sometime. What I'm gonna talk about are the things that are just really great gift ideas for someone who eats healthy already or someone you're wanting to help along their journey and get started eating healthy. These ones are some really great things you can just pick up at the store, bag them all together and package them nicely and you can give as a cool gift. First up is oil. Oil is a great item to have on a healthy eating lifestyle if you have the right kind. I recommend olive oil, coconut oil, and avocado oil. Those are my three go-to oils. I use them all the time. So, and they are a little bit pricey. So if you've got a good quality set of them or one and you just want to add it as a stocking stuffer or you want to put a package together, they're a really cool gift because everybody needs oil. And this is also a really good way to get somebody started on trying something new if they haven't tried coconut oil, for example. Next, we have sweeteners. Yes, even healthy eating people need to have some sweetness in their lives. And there's a few ways to do that. So if you've watched my How to Quit Sugar video, which I can link to as well, you know my favorite types of healthy eating sweeteners, and those are raw honey, pure maple syrup, and coconut sugar. I also love using dates as an added sweetener, but that's not quite the same, that you have to blend that as well. It's not just a pour and go kind of a thing. All three of these are really great items to add to your stocking if you want to add to somebody's healthy eating lifestyle and give them options instead of white sugar, instead of brown sugar, or instead of stevia or something like that. These are gonna be healthier options that are unrefined, useful items to have in their pantry right away. All right, so now how about some pantry essentials that I have in my pantry at all times. If I see I'm getting low, I definitely go and restock as soon as possible. Those are things like rolled oats. Bob's Red Mill's rolled oats are amazing, so I get those. Quinoa is another great example of something you can use instead of white rice. Brown rice is another good option. Whole wheat pastry flour is great for just basically completely replacing all-purpose flour. You can use it for anything all-purpose flour does. If you have a gluten-free friend or you're looking to do something more paleo, coconut flour is a really great option and almond flour is a really great option. I love both of those flours. I also love chickpea flour, also called garbanzo bean flour, which is really great to add as a coating that is healthy for you, high in protein, high in fiber, compared to something like all-purpose flour. Unsweetened cocoa powder, really great to basically replace someone's chocolate mix. Any raw nuts and seeds that you might want to put together, like pepitas, almonds, walnuts, cashews, pecans, all of those are really great items to have in your pantry and would make a really cool gift if you wanted to package all of that together. And then, of course, plain old spices. Not things like mixes, which might potentially have added salts and sugars and things like that, but instead things like dried oregano, dried thyme, dried basil, sea salt and ground black pepper, garlic powder, cayenne, paprika, things like that that aren't really caring about a mix. Instead, they can just use them to add into their meals and be healthy. I usually buy the organic one if I can, but any option is gonna be great. Just look for high quality, single options for these spices and different herbs. All right, so now you have all of my faves from cutlery to bakeware to pantry essentials to meal prep containers to gadgets and all of those tools that I use every day to have a healthy eating lifestyle and to have a really good, healthy kitchen. I hope this helps you. Let me know, did I miss anything? Do you have a favorite tool that I didn't add here? Let me know in the comments below. I've also linked to everything that I've shared today down below so you can go and get that link and you can pick it up for yourself for a loved one, you can put it on your wish list, you can just have a really good basis for a healthy eating gift guide for this holiday season. Thanks so much, I appreciate you sticking out with me and I will see you next time, bye bye.